At the beginning of the movie, in a small fishing town called Porto Rosso, on the coast of Italy, two men go fishing in a boat in the middle of the sea. One of them was very scared, because it is said that there are many sea monsters in this place. But the other man does not believe this. But there were really many sea monsters in this place. A timid sea monster starts stealing various things from the bottom of the boat. But one of them sees the monster and they both try to catch it. But the monster somehow escaped from there. Then, some sea monsters were shown who lived under the sea and they lived in groups like humans. One of them was Luca and he was the youngest member of his family. He looked after their pet fish and work as a fish herder to help his parents. His mother forbade him to go to the land, because people consider them as harmful animals. So, they can attack Luca. But he was very curious about people's lives and their belongings. One day, Luca goes out with his fishes for a walk. That's when he sees man-made objects under the sea. And while collecting those items, he saw a boat on the sea. And being afraid, he hid himself with the fishes. Later, when his mother calls him for lunch, he hides the collected items and goes to eat. But he was delayed for some time. So, his parents kept telling him that when the human boat came, he would return home very quickly. After eating, he went back with the fishes and started looking for things left by people. He found lots of things left by people. But then a man in a diving suit walks in. He is very afraid of him and tries to hide. When Luca hides on a rock, the man in the diving suit introduces himself. His name is Alberto Scorfano. He is not human, he is a sea monster just like Luca. Alberto then took the collected goods to a nearby island. A curious Luca starts to follow him. But when Albert comes out of the water to the land, he immediately turns into a human form. So, Luca is very surprised. Then when Albert pulls Luca to the land, Luca also turns into a human form. But for the first time, even in human form, he was very afraid. Luca couldn't stand properly because he wasn't used to gravity. Then slowly, he started to feel the sound of the stream, the chirping of the birds just like a human. After a short time, he went back into the water and returned home. At night he starts to think a lot about turning into a human. He can't get the incident out of his mind all night. The next day he prepares to go to surface again. He makes an idol like him out of stone, and putting the idol as in charge of the fish, he went away. He hesitated as he neared the shore. He can't decide whether to go to the ground or not. Just then Albert appears there with various parts and things. Then Albert rises to the ground and takes human form. Luca follows him, and when he emerges from water to land, he too transforms into a human. But Luca cannot stand properly because he has never walked before. Albert then instructs him on how to walk. Luca falls many times while walking. Slowly Luca learns to walk. Then they both come to Albert's house with the scraps they have collected. Albert's house was great. Her father is out of town, so there is no one else at home. Albert then showed him a picture of Vespa that he had designed, and says that with such a Vespa we can travel far. The two then started building a Vespa from the scraps they had collected. After a few hours of work, they built a beautiful Vespa. At that time, then Luca remembered the house. He quickly went back home, but by then it was too late. His mother starts arguing and asks where he was for the long time. But his grandmother saves him this time by saying that she sent Luca to get some sea cucumbers for her. Luca is very happy with his grandmother's work. The next morning the boys meet again and decide to test their scooter, but while Alberto is going down the hill the bike is dismantled into thousand pieces and he barely scratches himself into the ground managing to run down the ramp until he falls into the water. Since their first scooter is destroyed, they spend more time out of water building new scooters. They conduct various experiments to improve the new scooter. Finally, they build their second scooter and get a brilliant idea to ramp up together. They used a turtle as a ramp support and went down the hill. They climb very high and narrowly survive crashing into rocks. But they dream of a real scooter. They can travel far and wide with it. Noticing their son spending more and more time away from home Luca's parents begin to follow him. And his parents realize that he has started to go to land. When Luca returns home in the evening and his parents forbade him to go to the surface. Luca continues to convince his parents that the land and people are not dangerous to him. His parents are angry and decide to send Luca to the deep sea with his uncle Hugo. He was not at all interested in going with his uncle. At the next morning, he runs away from home and goes to Albert's house. He shares her problem with Albert. Finally, they both decide to flee to the nearby city, Porto Rosso. Because when they go to the city, they will become human and their parents won't be able to recognize them. And there are many real Vespas in the city. And if they can manage one, they can travel far and wide with it. They then swim to shore and use a wrecked boat to infiltrate the city. As soon as they arrive the square the boys pass a couple of fishermen 
and by seeing hooks and fish in their hand, Luca panics but is calmed by Alberto. After passing the men, they see a guy arriving with a scooter, and they decide to go there to talk to the owner. But a group of children throw the ball near them and ask them to kick it back. But trying to do that Luca who has never played football ends up kicking and hitting the scooter of Arkel, an extremely smug and snobbish man who is furious that his Vespa got hit. Realizing that the ones who hit his scooter is children, Arkel starts bullying the boys and tries to dunk Luca's head in the fountain, almost revealing Luca's true form but Julia appears and manages to save him at the last second. Then the two of them went to a safe place in a van with the girl named Julia. Luca and Albert ask her about Urkel's scooter. Then, Julia informs them that every year a competition is held here called Porto Rosso Cup, and Urkel is the champion of that competition every year. He bought this scooter with the prize money he got as champion. But Julia participated in the competition every year but never won. Julia informs them that the competition will be held in a few days. Hearing about the prize money, Luca and Albert express interest in participating in the competition. But Julia tells them that it's an epic, grueling, traditional Italian triathlon and it's a tough competition. The competition consists of swimming, cycling and pasta eating. So you have to participate in this competition as a team. Seeing that Julia is determined to beat Urkel after numerous defeats, Luca has the idea of teaming up a team. Officially they form a team. Julia start doing some tests to see who will get what role, and as they can't get wet the boys pretend not to know how to swim, so that she can take on this part of the task. Luca decides to take part in the cycling, and Alberto in food competition. But Luca's cycling was not so good. Still, he keeps trying to improve his cycling. But to participate in the competition they have to register and need money for that. So, they went to Julia's father, who was a fisherman. While eating breakfast, Julia tells her father that she wants to participate in the competition this time. But her father does not agree. And his father said that he could not catch enough fish for many days, so there is no money at all. Since Luca and Albert grew up in the sea, they know where the fish are most abundant, so they tell Julia's father that they can help a lot. His father then tells them that if they can help with the fishing, he will pay the registration fee for the competition. They are all very happy, but Julia's father's pet cat attacked them because it suspected them a bit. The next morning while Julia is practicing, her father takes Luca and Albert to go fishing in the sea. At the beginning, they didn't find many fish. Alberto says that this is a hunting ground, so the fish avoid this area. Albert tells him the location of a place where fish usually stay. As suggested by Luca and Albert, he caught a lot of fish and managed to fill the boat. After that, Luca, Albert, and Julia come to the registration center with the money. He comes there with his team and snatches the money from Julia, saying that since he will win this time too, the money will be of no use. Then seeing the bravery of Luca and Albert, Urkel returned their money. After that they completed the registration successfully. There are only seven days left for the competition to start. Albert continues to train himself to eat different types of pasta, such as cannelloni, pen, fusini, etc. because every year the organizers change the type of pasta. But that pasta must be eaten with a forchetta, which was very troublesome for Alberto. Luca continues to practice cycling, but it was very difficult for him to ride on the high and low roads. He fell off the bike again and again, but he kept trying. They then go to the sea so that Julia can practice swimming. Urkel interrupts Julia's practice and starts speeding towards them to break their boat. But Luca turned the engine at the last second to avoid the collision, but ends up splashing water that wets Albert's faces causing him to turn into sea monster form. Luca carefully lowers Albert into the water so that no one sees him as a sea monster. But Urkel saw Albert's tail. Julia then scolds him for his actions. During this time, Albert climbs out of the water into the boat and Luca covers him with a blanket. Albert then wipes off the water with a towel and returns to human form. Meanwhile, since Luca does not return home for a time, Luca's parents come to town to search for him. They put little children in the water and test them to see if they are Luca or not. When the boys start to return to Julia's house, they see Luca's parents in the square throwing the children into the water. Afraid of being found by his parents Luca tells Albert what he saw. Luca, Alberto, and Julia, the three were talking about different things, and then Julia's father called Albert to fix the net. Julia then learns that Luca has a keen interest in astronomy. So, Julia brings him a telescope, with which they both start seeing planets and stars in the far distance. Luca thinks that the stars in the sky are fishes, but Julia tells him that these are burning fireballs, and these are millions of times bigger than Earth. Julia continues to tell him about the solar system, the galaxy, the universe, which she has learned in school. 
and Luca listened to them with infinite interest. Luca then wants to enroll in school and wanted to learn a lot about epistemology and astronomy. Albert then arrives there and leaves with Luca. Luca then tells him to enroll in school, but Albert ignores the idea by saying that sea monsters don't need to study. As soon as they get the scooter, they will leave the town. Then Urkel attacked them with his gang and hit Albert. But Luca takes a harpoon and threatens them if they if they don't stop making harassment. Somehow, they come back unscathed and go back to Julia's house safely. Then at night they fell asleep on their bed which was on the tree. A few days pass like this and their practice continues. Each day they get a little better. Luca practices extreme cycling with heavy loads down the city slopes. During practice, the town kids keep cheering them on. But Urkel can't stand it. One day during practice on the slopes of the city, Luca was afraid. Albert then goes to give him directions on how to ride a bicycle. But Albert fell into the sea with Luca along with the bicycle. But due to falling into the water, they turned into sea monsters again. Meanwhile, on that time, Urkel was looking for sea monsters in the sea to hunt. So they both carefully come ashore. But they disagree with each other because it was not good to fall into the water in such a way. After that, Albert opposes when Luca wants to enroll in the school. Then a fight breaks out between them, and just then Julia appears there and hugs them. Then Albert asks Julia if sea monsters can be admitted to school or not. Julia is surprised by the question and Albert jumps into the water himself to make some trouble to Luca. Julia screams in fear and just then Urkel appears with his team and Albert runs away from there. Later that night during dinner, Julia's father becomes surprised at his absence and goes out to look for him. Luca starts to panic thinking about what could happen to Alberto. In attempt to calm her friend down Julia throws water on him discovering that he too a sea monster. With his dream ruined, Luca decide to find the island where he finds the tower completely destroyed and Alberto was extremely upset at the top. Luca noticed some marks on the wall when he goes to talk to Alberto about it he finds out that it was the count of date since his father left the house. Alberto was alone on the island for the several years and waiting for her dad. Luca tries to take Albert with him, but Albert turns him away. Alberto is still upset, because he thinks that Luca is spending more time with Julia, forgetting about friendship. While leaving, Luca says that he is going to compete in the Porto Rosso Cup. Albert is surprised to hear this. The next morning, Luca participates in Alberto's rusty diving suit. Meanwhile, Urkel starts smearing his teammate with olive oil so that his teammates slide better in water and manages to get first but in the middle of the course the anchovies are attached to the oil, and slow down his speed. Luca falls back a bit due to the heavy diving suit. Luca walk along the ocean floor, but water pressure ends up breaking the glass causing water to leak through the crack. When he comes out of water, Luca tries to hide his face but so that no one can see his sea monster form. But Urkel puts his foot in front of him causing him to fall and loose his helmet. But he still manages to hide his appearance. However, in the end, Luca somehow survives, and Julia comes first in the swimming competition. Then the pasta eating contest began. Luca faced some difficulties as he has never used a fork before, but Julia helps him. At the last place, Urkel's teammate reaches the pasta table and start to eat to as fast as he can. On the other hand, Julia finished eating the pasta first and start cycle riding. By seeing that, Urkel cheats once again and takes the pasta in his hand putting everything in once in boy's mouth. After finishing pasta, Luca who is now in the last place finally starts cycling. Although he was in the last position, he started cycling very fast because he was trained for cycling competition. So he started moving to the first position, seeing that Urkel also started cycling faster. Everything was fine, but suddenly it started raining in the city. Without being able to get wet, Luca stands under a roof. Being a girl, Julia fell behind in cycling. Meanwhile, Urkel takes advantage of the rain. At this time, Albert comes with an umbrella to help his friend. But seeing this, Urkel start paddling towards Boy and kicks the boy dropping the umbrella and revealing his sea monster form. Upon discovering that the boy is a monster, Urkel decides to go back and throw a net to catch him to get a reward. The people around are a little scared of the sea monster. Seeing the danger of his friend, Luca leaves the dry spot and start paddling to save Alberto, revealing to everyone that he too is a sea monster. He then puts Alberto on the cycle and the two of them started down the steep hillside together while being chased by Urkel and Julia. On the way down, Urkel try to hit the boys with harpoons several times, and by realizing that it's only a matter of time before her friend are eliminated Julia decides to throw herself at the opponent causing him fall, and dismount along his bike. Seeing Julia laying on the ground, instead of running away, the boys decide to go back to help her. Then Julia's father also comes with a harpoon to kill them, along with other people including Urkel. But Julia's father can sense that they are back to help his daughter. 
and he realizes that they are Luca and Albert, who have been transformed into sea monsters and decides to defend them when Urkel is going to attack them, by declaring them as the winner of the competition as they cross the finish line first. But Urkel immediately says that they are not human, but Judge says that technically they crossed the finish line first that why they are the winner. But Urkel still tries to hit Luca, but seeing the size of Julia's father that the All Hunters decides to just leave Urkel alone. Even Urkel is rejected by his own teammate Dot at that moment. Luca's parents finally meet him again after so long and see him being rewarded by human Dot as the prize money is not as much as they expected Luca and Alberto buy an old beat-up scooter to ride around town. Now with humans living in harmony with the sea monster everyone starts to live in peace in Porto Rosso. But as the holiday are ending, Julia needs to go back in mother's house in Geneva and to school. At the train station the boys go to say goodbye to their friend. Julia hugs her father and gets on the train. After Julia gets on the train Alberto tells Luca that he sold the scooter to buy a ticket to Geneva so that his loving friend can also study. Then at that time Luca's parents arrive there with a suitcase saying that everything is already confirmed and he will stay at Julia's mother's house. Actually, Alberto managed it all. He sold their dream scooter for his friend's studies and managed his parents too. Luca and Albert's friendship at the end of the movie was heart-touching and wonderful. They knew that they would not see each other for a long time, so they did not want to leave each other but it was time to leave the train. After that, the train started its journey to a distant destination, a city which is totally unknown and new to Luca. Meanwhile, Albert decides to stay with Julia's father to help him catch fish. Two friends' lives flow in two different directions, in two different cities, in different environments. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. Thanks for enjoying the video.